Put a ring on my finger, so no it's real. Niggas for everybody, I don't even wanna do. I don't wanna play no games with me, young. I'm the right one, come and get what you got coming. I hope can never say I don't really got it, cause I ain't with the talking. I show me your pockets and show me your statements. Pull out some paper, baby, that's how you clear I think she's jealous of me, cause you know the Okay guys, let's talk about party planning. I'm gonna give you the one on ones, the do's and don'ts of how to plan a party and being the birthday girl, birthday boy, what to do and what not to do. Let me tell you something, okay? Let me give you a tip. If you're having a birthday dinner, do not make the guests pay. Like, I'm sorry, I'm so, so sorry, so, so sorry. Like with me, I pay for all my parties, all my parties. Like I've been having parties growing up. Like I always used to love my birthday. And I say used to because I don't love it as much as I did when I was younger. Like on my birthday, girl, everyone, I made sure everyone knew. Like that's why when I came to high school, I didn't understand. Like I had a friend, she didn't come on her birthday cause she was embarrassed. I'm like, first of all, Wait a minute, Mr. Postman, are you the president? Are people gonna stop at your feet like, oh, it's your birthday, oh hell you, oh hell you. Like girl, who, who knows you really? <laughs> no shade, but like, what are you trying to do? What are you trying to achieve? Like, who knows you like that? Like, girl, it wasn't giving like that, so what a one. I used to just love my birthday, but then like, as I got older, I just kind of was like, oh, like on my birthday, I was just like, oh, okay, it's my birthday. Maybe like, it's just a fear internally that I'm getting older and soon enough I'm gonna be like having wrinkles and stuff. Maybe I'm just like scared of that so I'm not as excited for my birthday. But this year I am turning 20. The 20 is going to be 20 -ing, So I'm definitely going to have a little small little get together with, you know, my friends. My birthday's in high school. Year 7 I had a bowling laser tag party. Like you had to pay beforehand. So when one of the girls didn't come, I was like, girl, you should let me know because I had to pay, you know, in advance for your spot. And the fact that you didn't show up, what a coin zap. Girl, she like I didn't ask her for the coin. I still was her friend for a little bit after that. But child, she should have run me my check for her spot. But in year eight, um, we went to the Whitlam Center. I paid for everyone there. Okay, we had a little swim. We had a little funny dunny. Year nine, we went to go watch a movie. Um, I didn't even pick the movie. I let my, you know, friends pick the movie because I didn't really care. Like, as long as I was with my friends, I don't sound corny, but as long as I was with the girls, I was fine. Like, I didn't even care about the movie. But then later afterwards, they complained that the movie was bad. It was like, it was Beauty and the Beast. But, girl, you guys were the ones that picked the movie, so don't come to me. I had nothing to do with it, okay? We had KFC afterwards. Like, it was just fun, you know? Like, I wasn't even paying attention to the movie. I was just like, okay, my friends are here. We're having a good racket time now year 10 i had like a home party okay i had the hermiana party yani i was turning 15 and basically it was in my backyard i invited my friends from primary school you know to reconnect and you know rekindle our you know a little friendship or whatever because i went to a different high school and everyone kind of like separated but yeah like i felt like that party was just about pictures like we were all taking pictures the whole day uh, we ate and like we just hung out together and just it was like fun But literally the day before my dad made me go around the neighbors and like give them a letter saying that I'm gonna be having a birthday party and it might be noisy da -da 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 -da. It was like so embarrassing because after the day after the party literally they were like So where was the party? Where was the noise at? Like we didn't hear anything. The thing was I was so scared to like put up the sound I don't know like I just didn't want to disturb anyone like at night time so I just put it on low but girl, they're like, where was the party at? Yeah, we thought it would be some banging music. I'm year 11. I was going to do my party on Airbnb. Like my brother's girlfriend was helping me plan or whatever. And it just all didn't work out on the day. So I was kind of like stressed out. So we just ended up having to do it at my house. And it wasn't like a whole bunch of people coming. So I just like texted my friend like, oh, location changed to my house. And I wanted to do a neon party. Everyone in neon, but... I don't think everyone obliged to my neon theme. Like, like one of my friends wore red, the others wore like, they didn't wear like bright colors like I wanted them to, you know what I mean? And one of my friends came in a um, orange dress and here's the thing, I told her not to come and the orange, like I told everyone don't wear orange. Like, girl, when I'm wearing a color, I usually tell them like, don't wear this color because I'm like, girl, okay, it's my day. But child, this girl came in an orange, like nobody's business. It wasn't a neon orange, but it was still giving orange on. And I was like, girl, what a guani, guani, guan. Like, 
what is this honey one of my friends wore black like they didn't wear the neon colors that i wanted them to and i was kind of annoyed but i was like whatever at least i look good but looking back at the photos my wig was giving wigiana and it was giving grandmom vibes like my friend told me that on the date like it's giving like i understand what she was saying i thought i was the hot shot barbie doll but i was giving very much week okay the party was still fun we still had neon lights in the backyard the music was lit i had a dj or should i say dj one of my sister's friends did the djing um aka pressing play on spotify but it was still good to have someone behind the music i did have friends that wanted to suggest songs i'm like i was like okay suggest a song like who cares but i don't know they were being scaredy cats like but oh it's your birthday it's fine we're in it like girl like i hate scary ass girls girl if you know you know, you know who i'm talking about like girl just suggest a song like why do you have to be like oh no it's your birthday just, just shut your mouth for my 17th i didn't have a party because it was covid it was locked down i was quite sad about that but you know we move we we digress i just dressed up took photos it was calm for my 18th you know after i graduated high school because you know i started school early i think it was kind of like a catch up with all my friends we did karaoke and i was giving barbie doll I was definitely giving Barbie doll, my dress was phenomenal, my hair, the makeup, it was bomb. The only thing is, I did not get a photo. I did not have a chance to have a photo, like, it was just like, girl, I posted for my 15th, I posted for my 17th, my 16th as well, but for my 18th, no photo was seen because the photo wasn't giving. But I looked the bomb diggity, I looked the bomb.com. We did karaoke, we went out to dinner, it was fun. For my 19th, and this brings me to one of my points is, I had a joint birthday party. Now let me tell you, do's and don'ts of party planning, don't ever do a joint birthday party. I'm telling you now, do not ever do a joint birthday party because I'm telling you, you end up paying more than what you expected. Because um, I did a joint birthday party with someone I used to be friends with, okay, I'll just say that. And I thought it would be cheaper, you know, like, you know, if you split the cost, everything will come out cheaper, but it did not happen at all. Like, at first, we're gonna do a boat party, but then I was kind of worried about, like, people RSVPing and, I, like, us having to pay and then, like, like a couple people not RSVP and not come and then we still have to, like, it's one of those things where you have to pay in advance, so you have to know exactly who's coming. So we kind of switched away from the boat party because it was kind of expensive and we were like, okay, let's find a space and she found us a little location to do it in and like the outside was beautiful but the thing is, it meant to be on Saturday but last minute she told me it's going to be on Sunday like that was the only day they could do it and the thing about Sunday is people have to work the next day so the party wrapped up about 9.30 and it wasn't my favorite party like it was just not a good day it was a very stressful day like having a joint birthday party you end up paying more like girl i spent a lot of money on that birthday party i spent like over a thousand i'll just say that and to think if i would have just done it myself it would have been lower like can you imagine can you actually imagine like it was just not good like and the fact of the matter is like i did the party a weekend before my birthday and it was kind of like not good like another reason don't do your party or whatever before your birthday because i don't know everything just everything just messes up and then when your birthday comes people are like oh okay it's your birthday again you know what i mean like it's better to do it afterwards so there's no confusion don't have a joint birthday party and don't do your birthday party before your birthday because it's a lot it's really a lot it's better to have the birthday focus on you than having to share with another person like i don't want to sound like that but it's just like much better less confusing and the fact of the matter is only my friends came anyway, so no shade, but I'm just saying it, it should have just been my birthday party. It's your birthday and you're the one planning it, why would your guests pay? Like, I don't understand. If I'm going to a birthday party, I expect you to, you know, be prepared for that. Don't have a birthday dinner, expect to split the bill and did it. Girl. Like, aren't you embarrassed? Isn't that embarrassing? Like, okay, if you're trying to save money, do something else then. Don't just have a dinner where it's like, like it's unlimited and when the bill comes you get shocked and you want everyone to pay their part it's like i understand when it comes to splitting bills but if it's a birthday party birthday dinner type of thing birthday event your guests should not be paying your guests should literally just be coming to you know have fun eat and then dance and go home and celebrate you like you know what i'm trying to say like you shouldn't make your guests pay anything you should be taking care of all of that like that's common courtesy as the birthday like people think oh your birthday your friend should pay 
but i don't agree with that if it's your birthday you handle all the things and the guests just come to party and have fun i think that's reasonable if it's not within your budget baby then have a party at home have a home party okay ciao i don't understand me no comprehende my next point is don't have your guests set up like i did this mistake um for my 16th party like but they were my close friends like they didn't help me set up but like when like the banner fell down like they kind of helped me put it back up and i really appreciate that but like when it came to my 18th when i went home to get ready apparently um the other girl's mom had every one of my friends helping set up and it's like girl i already did half of the setting up and i was expecting to come back earlier and finish it before the rest of the guests came but i was also expecting her sister to kind of help us out because she said she would but it's like don't make my friends my guests try and set up the party like it's just so cringe like guests shouldn't have to work guests shouldn't have to pay for anything guests should just come dress up um dance celebrate you and go home like guests shouldn't have to do anything when it comes to a birthday party birthday event like type of vibe like you know what i'm trying to say like if it's a different event then i get it but like like the concept of having a birthday thing and inviting someone you shouldn't expect them to just give out their life savings and work like i don't want my friends to work they should be enjoying themselves dancing while waiting for us like you're you're putting them up to it if i was there i would have been like no don't touch anything i'll handle everything like you know what i mean even cleaning up some of my friends stayed back to help it was like i just felt so embarrassed it's like why like i don't want it should be up to us the two of us should have been cleaning up you know what i mean because it was like kind of a rent place so we had to make it all clean and i didn't even get my deposit back so it was kind of like girl it's fine whatever she kept it for herself because she felt like she did more of the work and that's the problem this is no shade but that's the problem with having a joint party again because it's like one person will feel more entitled than the other person even though you paid more of the money but it's fine i guess another point i want to bring up don't have your parties on a sunday like i feel like sunday is the worst day to have a party like i mentioned in my other points like because people most likely have to work the next day and girl sunday is not a fun day to do it saturday or friday night i think those are the best times to you know shake body and do your thing because it's like girl you want to drink you want to shake body you want to have fun but you don't want to be worrying about work the next day and also your guests so you always want to make sure your party is on an accommodating you know weekend type of vibe let me add a little something for this is for the guests yeah if someone sets a dress code and it's for their birthday party don't break it like that's the least you can do is stick within the dress code you know if they tell you not to wear a color you don't wear that color if they tell you to you know dress fancy then you dress a fancy if they tell you to be casual you dress casual like try and stay between the dress code because when it comes to the photos they want everyone to be cohesive and you don't want to be left out or ruining the um picture vibe okay and another point is um don't make your location too far like i get it you, like some locations are so beautiful but it's a bit far like people don't want to drive two hours or have to you know have the transportation be so long you know what i mean so always try and make it the center of course you want to make it closer to your home and you always try and think about your guests when it comes to the travel time and all of that stuff and this is a tip for the guests if you're going to a birthday party i'm telling you get off your phone and dance like it looks so weird if you're just standing there on your phone or sitting down it's like baby girl why'd you come why'd you get all dressed just to not dance like i don't understand me not comprehending like why'd you come why'd you actually come because it's like you just look dry and like you just look like what was the point of me inviting you if you're not gonna shake body i'm not expecting you to be like it's dancing with the stars but at least move something shake a little like i just don't like when people come to parties and they just stand in the corner and just like it's just so awkward it's like girl the door's that way the door is that way and with the guests please make sure you rsvp like i get not coming because something came up last minute i get that but like especially if it's like a dinner or something where you have to pay beforehand like bowling a laser tag you better make sure you let me know like let your person know let the birthday person know that you can't make it because some of the things you have to pay beforehand and it's like they're paying for you but you're not even there like don't just not show up or don't just say you're gonna show up and then not show up like i know nobody's perfect and we've all done that a couple of times but you know for 
everyone has room for growth and improvement so i'm just giving you a tip like make sure you rsvp to the party so they know exactly the numbers want to know asap if you're planning something planning a party they want to know asap they need to know asap so they can know the food the amount of people coming like the amount of supplies they need like stuff like that you need to be accommodating to the birthday person and let them know if you're coming like you have to be quick on that asap like don't just leave it to last minute because then it's like they didn't in include you in when it comes to the supplies and stuff so it's like girl if you want to get a plate if you want to have the best experience at that birthday party you got to make sure you let the people know and also if you're inviting a plus one let the birthday person know like you can't just show up because like what if it's a set thing like i just said they didn't expect an extra person so you always have to be thoughtful and mindful not to show up with an extra person and just expect to be included it's just like what if i tell you both to go home like like that's not how things work so you just gotta be mindful of that yeah guys i just want to do that quick little video let me know what you think down below when it comes to party planning and party etiquette when it comes to the guests yeah guys thank you so much for watching this video give me a big fat thumbs up don't forget to subscribe down below and i'll see you in the next one bye